You asked, how many times can I recharge my solar battery? How many times can solar batteries be recharged before the end of life? I get asked all the time. Solar batteries are a great addition to anyone's solar system, whether residential or commercial. However, as they are relatively new technology, some people really know very little about the product. They might want to have one, but they need to find out more. So this particular FAQ will explain how you can recharge solar batteries with electricity and how many times you can do it before you got to chuck it out. Firstly, charging with solar electricity means that solar batteries are usually charged with the solar system, but also on some days, the solar panels don't produce enough electricity to supply the house and also charge the battery. And on days with that poor weather conditions, you can actually charge the solar battery also via grid supplied electricity. Obviously, from a cost perspective, charging with solar is financially much better because that's relatively free electricity. And the grid power in Australia is supplied as alternate current, which is called AC. But to charge the battery, you actually need to have DC power. And the process to go from AC to DC means it's not 100% efficient. So you will lose some of the electricity when you charge the battery. So an efficiency of around 95% can be expected with the majority of batteries on the market and their battery management system. That means I put 100% of the electricity in, be it 10 kilowatt hours, but I'm only gonna get 95% back. So I have to charge always a little bit more. So when it comes to charging from the grid, most modern battery management systems allow you to charge from solar and the grid at the same time. So you might have a certain consumption in the house, there's a little bit left from the solar, it goes in the battery, you want to charge the battery faster, the grid power at the same time will charge it. So that's what's happening with modern batteries. You might have also heard when it comes to batteries about the derating factor. So after a number of years of recharging, the battery will have gone through many cycles of life and might have deteriorated by 20, 30 or even 40%. When the remaining charge capacity has been reduced to maybe around 60% of the original capacity, experts advise that it's really time to replace the battery. Now, home storage batteries that are kept in temperatures below 50 degrees will also last a bit longer, so the derating factor will be a bit less. But if you have them in very hot climate, on a western wall, on a northern wall, it's really not recommended, it should be in a garage. In those cases, the derating factor will go faster. You can therefore make a battery last longer if you keep it in the right temperature. Usually the PV system battery warranty document is a relatively good guide to give you an idea how long the battery will last because they normally give you also what's called a throughput power. Give you an example, I have a 11 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, the warranty says I have 50,000 kilowatt hours of throughput. Now I charge the battery every day by let's say 10 kilowatt hours. That means that the warranty will cover 10 kilowatt hour cycles for 5,000 cycles. So if I think 5,000 cycles, one a day, so that's 13.7 years that that particular battery is warranted to last. Now, we're not necessarily gonna do 10 every day perfectly. We'll do a few less, we go on holidays. So maybe you would expect overall to maybe get 15 years of a battery with that kind of warranty. So it's very important if you consider buying batteries and you want to compare them that you actually read the warranty document and check out how the warranty is expressed in order to compare it. Now, because it's a new technology, we're really only going to know the truth of what the manufacturers promise to what's really happening in real life, maybe in a decade or so. And then we will see if those warranty documents actually had a true meaning or if it was wishful thinking or if the thing actually even lasts even much, much longer. We just don't know yet. So unfortunately, we do not know that and manufacturers of failed products that overpromised in this particular industry have left Australia regularly and, and left the customers hanging. So my big advice is go with a good brand, go with a brand that your installer has recommended and go with a brand that has a good warranty department and good support system within Australia so that your battery uh, experience is a positive one. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.